Why is my affected arm or leg so heavy? Is this a question that you've asked yourself in your recovery? If so, today we are gonna talk about what causes limb heaviness after a stroke and things that you can do to make it better. Let's get into it. What causes limb heaviness? Ultimately, when someone has a stroke, the way that the body and the brain communicate with each other is disrupted. If the part of the brain that controls movement and sensation is impacted, this can result in dysfunction. The interrupted or even absent communication between brain cells, nerves, muscles, and sensory receptors can lead to a loss of strength, muscle tone changes, swelling, as well as altered sensory input and processing, which can result in a feeling of heaviness or even difficulty moving the affected limb. So let's dig in a little bit deeper to each of these. With muscle weakness, it's often experienced as one-sided paralysis or weakness and is a common post-stroke issue that can contribute to the affected limb heaviness issue. And this is due to the damage of the motor areas of the brain which control muscle movement and the disruption in communication between the brain and the muscles. Because those muscles are more difficult to move or may not respond in a way that you anticipate, it can make you feel like the affected side is heavier. Now, after a stroke, if someone experiences significant one-sided weakness or paralysis, it's common to see leg, arm, and hand swelling on the affected side. The swelling happens because fluid accumulates where it normally wouldn't be, and it accumulates where there is a lack of functional movement. Our lymph system, which is part of our immune system, relies on pumps in our body to move lymph fluid throughout it. So when we don't use those pumps, or when we're not moving, those pumps aren't activated and the fluid can accumulate in those areas. Sensory issues. So after a stroke, the brain's ability to detect and interpret different types of sensation can become disrupted. And this leads to altered sensations in the affected limb, meaning that what you could once interpret as light touch, pressure, weight bearing, hot or cold, might now feel like something else entirely or like nothing at all. This altered sensation can lead to feelings of heaviness, numbness, and tingling. And of course, spasticity. Spasticity is unfortunately a fairly common post-stroke issue that can cause muscle stiffness, tightness, and spasms. And this is due to an overactive spinal stretch reflex, which if you'd like to know more about that, you can check out the video that I've linked above. The spasticity and higher muscle tone can cause the affected limb to feel heavier. What makes it better? Although it may seem counterintuitive, Exercise, activity, and movement can actually help to improve limb heaviness by targeting the underlying impairments that contribute to that symptom. We still want to adhere to the principles of neuroplasticity when we're addressing limb heaviness, so that's not going to change. This means that we need to really focus on repetition, intensity, consistency, and of course, engaging in activities that are really important to you in order to help rebuild those neural pathways. And we also want to get to the underlying issue of what's causing the limb heaviness, which is the disruption between brain body communication. Exercise, activity, and movement can include things like strengthening exercises, range of motion, stretching, and of course, engaging in things around the house, like taking a shower, making a bed, making a meal for yourself, baking. If you're able to go for a walk, going for a walk or getting involved in adaptive or traditional sports. For swelling, you'll wanna talk with your doctor or therapist about positioning strategies, compression garments, and possibly even medications. It's important to note that you don't wanna go out and just buy any compression garment. You need to ask a healthcare provider, one, if they're appropriate for you, and two, which ones are if they give you the go ahead. They're not appropriate for everyone. Spasticity. For spasticity, we're thinking stretching exercises, functional training with day-to-day -day tasks, and the use of electrical stimulation or e-stem with tasks or stretching exercises. 
Using these strategies to reduce spasticity can make the limb easier to move and thus reduce that heavy feeling. And as I mentioned in this video, um, Botox injections and certain medications may be helpful to reduce your spasticity as well, which could lead to less limb heaviness. And last but not least, sensory re-education. Now these techniques are usually best learned under the guidance of a therapist, but if you don't have access to one, you can check out this video that I made a while ago if you're looking for a good place to start. Sensory exercises aim to improve the brain's ability to process sensory information from the affected limb. And this can involve um, using repeated touch and pressure at different areas on the affected limb, texture re-education, hot and cold retraining, mirror therapy, and lots of other strategies. The goal of improving sensory detection is that the brain can better interpret and then respond to the sensations from the affected limb, reducing the feelings of limb heaviness. Before you go, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you find our content helpful. It helps us to reach more survivors around the world. And if you're able and feeling even more generous, please help us out by giving us a super thanks by clicking in the YouTube bar below, by donating once via PayPal, or by becoming a Patreon member, where in exchange for a monthly donation, you get access to cool perks like social media shoutouts, behind the scenes footage, Q&A videos, and even YouTube shoutouts, of which I have one today. Thank you so much, Heather G, for contributing to Post Stroke at the Empower level. You have been a strong supporter of Post Stroke for a long time, and we sincerely can't thank you enough. As always, I'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description if you would like to sign up for the email list, which gets you free stroke recovery tips and motivational emails every week, as well as a free copy of my ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.